very good day to you and welcome to the program. Welcome to the farm. We've got snowy in the background. We've got cattle grazing peacefully everywhere. But I want to ask you a question. Is your spirit provoked to preach the gospel? When you hear about um, a type of gospel being preached, where people are speaking about a compromised message, where they're telling you that all roads lead to heaven, when they tell you that um, there are many ways to heaven, when they tell you things that are not true, are you provoked to tell the truth? You see, my dear friend, I love you so much, I have to tell you the truth. And the truth is, there is only one way, and His name is Jesus. See? I'm not telling you that because I want you to join my club. But it's not about a club. It's about following the Son of God. So if we go to the book of Acts, Acts chapter 17 and from verse 16, I want to read a couple of scriptures to you. You see, here's Paul. He's in the, the learning capital center of the whole world as it was then, Athens. Okay? That's where all the, the, the philosophers were. They'd sit there all day um, discussing things about eternal life, etc. And he arrives there and he says, no, 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 let me tell you the truth. Because he couldn't stand it anymore of all these stories. Trying to convince people there's so many different ways to have peace and find eternal happiness and eternity. Verse 16. Now, while Paul waited for them at Athens... His spirit was provoked, there it is, within him when he saw that the city was given over to idols. There were gods for everything. Fertility gods. There were gods for prosperity. There were gods for long liberty. There were go all these type of things. He was given over, okay, and his spirit was provoked within him. Therefore he reasoned in the synagogue with the Jews and with the Gentile worshippers and in the marketplace daily with those who happened to be there. So I want to say to you, when you start to stand up for Jesus and you start speaking the truth, people don't like it. See, when uh, he started speaking, they said uh, in verse 18, what does this babbler want to say? <laughs> what does he want to say? I don't think uh, Paul was speaking quietly. Not when they talk like that. What does this babble I want to say? Folks, when you have a love for God and you have a love for your fellow men, how can you sit there quietly when somebody else is talking about something which, which is absolute heresy? When they start to change the goalposts to suit themselves, when they start to rewrite the Bible and tell you that God is not a man and He's not a woman, He's an it. And you sit there quietly and you say nothing. Of course He is a male. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Jesus taught you and me that prayer. If Jesus says our Father, then Father is a male. Now you sit in there and people are, are discussing whether he's a male or a female. You are provoked to speak up and say, excuse me, that's a given. Let's talk about something else rather. See, You need to be born again before you can have eternal life. What does that mean? It means that if you're walking down the road that way, you need to stop and go that way. Because that's the way to eternal life and that is the way to hell and damnation. Why? Because the Bible says so. See? So we need to start to speak life. Paul was provoked. He couldn't keep quiet. That's why they said, what is this babbler? Got to say, they actually said that about me once. <laughs> In a meeting, he's babbling. I'll tell you one thing, at least I want them to know the truth. God bless you. Goodbye. We trust that you have been blessed by today's message. For more information, please visit angusbucken.com.